Hey guys, it's a frugal Nista inside of Sam's Club. And I'm looking at all of the TVs in here. And y'all, look how cheap TVs are. I need a television for my office. Y'all, that's only $397.99. It is a uh, 58 inch. There we go, 58 inch. And it's a Samsung, okay? $397 for that one. I just need it for my office. It's not like, you know, it's gonna be our main TV. That was $369. And I'm kind of doing this for myself more so I can see the series and go home and do a little bit more research. But if I can find a little cheap TV for my office, that's going to be what's up. $397. What was the regular price on it? The regular price on that was $477. So you're getting $80 off that one. Yeah, I guess they're giving television away now, y'all. Well, they ain't giving them away, but they're a lot cheaper than they used to be. Oh, look at these. Okay. Oh, here's 55. Oh, look, y'all. 259. That's a Phillips, though. But again, it's in my office. I remember once, one time somebody said something about my Westinghouse TV that I have that's still in my bedroom that's working fine. That one's 259. Phillips, 55 inch. 289. Yeah. I just need something for my office, y'all. A little smart TV. All righty. Let's go check out, y'all. Hey, y'all. It's Fruganista. Good morning. Y'all are rigged up there, so don't fall. Uh, but I want to talk to y'all today. I don't know why I'm so excited, but I just am. I said I was going to keep those endorphins going because I'm just happy about something. And I said, let me turn the camera on and finish out today. Vlog it with you guys. Now, we just came out of Sam's Club early. Or I tried to be early. But because I don't have... Hold on a minute. I'll turn it off. It's not that hot. Because I don't have a plus membership... And they, they no longer have the business membership, which I had for years at Sam's Club. And, you know, I could get in early with the business membership. Well, I don't have the plus, but they sent me something that I would get $10 off or just add plus for $10, but I had to do it online. So I tried to get up early this morning and try to get to Sam's Club early, early, thinking that they opened at six like they used to. They were like, man, we haven't done that since before the pandemic, but we opened at seven. And if you don't have a plus membership, I'm afraid you're not gonna be able to um, shop anyway. And, and it was like, wait a minute, eight. No, they don't open up to eight now. I was in there like at 7.40 walking around and he was he was kind of like, oh, okay, uh, but you can't stay in here. I'm like, okay, I'm trying to get out of the store, but the door wouldn't open anyway. Long story short, I was thinking about getting a plus membership. Do any of you have the plus? Now for $10 extra, I don't mind getting it. But for some reason, I just can't see me paying $110 for a big box membership like that. I don't know. I guess it has its advantages. When we had our business, the majority of my supplies came from Sam's Club and I used to basically vendor for my customers. So I would get all my supplies from them using the business account, being able to uh, shoot them a bill for it. So it was really convenience and they had the supplies that, you know, the company I work for uh, or the one I was doing business with, you know, wanted to use. Uh, cause we have BJ's now we have Costco's, which is free through my husband's job and we have Sam's club. And there's something that I like about all of them. I don't shop in BJ's like I used to shop, but there's something I like about all of them, but I just can't see paying $110 for a membership. Y'all let me know if y'all have the, uh, Sam's club plus. And my brother was telling me he likes to use it because he's able to, um, you know, order online park and they just put it in the car for him so that's a free service that he has that he likes um yeah so i got grocery and we'll go home and i'll share that with you today i also have to what's up with this line come on y'all i got stuff that needs to go in the freezer um today i just thought i would um you know say hi to you guys Good morning. 
All right, ART. All right, ART. Just a drink, yeah. Can I have a plastic straw also? That's okay, you're fine. Thank you. Oh, plastic, you have a plastic straw? I hate the cardboard straws. I know, well, I don't know. It might be good for the environment or not, but I don't like using it. Thank you. Alrighty. It must be her first day. <laughs> Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, y'all, I was thirsty. Hold on a minute. Don't try to fall. Um, I ain't saying much or nothing, but y'all hold on. It's a beautiful day today. Uh, I'm reading 66. I think it's supposed to be 70 something today. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna keep y'all with me till I get home. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Okay, there we go. Now, if y'all start falling, I'm gonna have to turn y'all off, but uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go home and put this grocery away. y'all I was thirsty <laughs> I see they starting to put oh these are insulated sleeves I think people started complaining that your drinks were getting they weren't staying cold all this newfangled stuff yeah um I just picked up some uh, hash browns and a sweet tea that I'm getting ready to inhale. Yeah, so, but I ain't doing nothing, y'all. I guess I will turn the camera on. I really don't have anything else to say. We kind of stuck at a light now and it's getting hot and I'm going to turn the AC on. But I will see y'all at the house. I don't think this is going to be an all day, but to tell y'all what I'm getting ready to do today, I went to Walmart, Sam's Club. Y'all will see that haul in a minute. Hold on a minute. And I'm getting ready to go to turn seven like I always do. This time, Mirabella wanted me to pick up some uh, camouflage shirts for her little step team. They had them in turn seven for like $3. I hope they still have them. So I'm gonna pick that up for her and then I'll get to see what they have. Cause I'm in, you know, they put merchandise out every day, all day. So I'll get to see what they have in there. I might stop at the Restore store. I don't know if I showed y'all the video or not, but the Restore store has Pottery Barn couches. All right, we are inside of the Restore store and guess who they have? Y'all, up in the Restore. Pottery Barn. This is the one I was looking at, $275. The only thing that's missing are the covers. Now y'all know that the covers are crazy in price, but y'all, I think I might get it. That's beautiful. And guess what, y'all, seriously. Seriously, I'm so excited. Pottery Barn. You know, very good deal on Pottery Barn couches. I picked up one.
Mm. Y'all, it's something about a cold sweet tea. Ooh. And the best ones to me are uh, Chick-fil-A, my Milo's of course. If it's really, really seriously ice cold, I'll drink a McDonald's one, but McDonald's is kind of too sweet for my taste. But it has to be like really solid cold. And then I, you know, the ice must kind of melt in there and make it to my liking. But yeah, um, yeah, y'all, so that's all I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to inhale these hash browns while they are still hot. So I will see y'all at the house for my haul, okay? All right, Ed. I'm hungry. Okay, we are home. I'm going to put the stuff that needs to go in the refrigerator up real quick and freezer. Y'all look at this little key lime pie for $9.98 that I picked up. I hope the family enjoys that. We love key lime pie. I also picked up some Fat Boys ice cream sandwiches. I picked up some Haagen-Dazs vanilla milk chocolate almond ice cream bar. And I picked up some water ice the rainbow variety i think we have mango in the freezer already so i just picked that up i also picked up some of the angus choice beef patties uh i think we've had these they're not as good as the other brand that they used to have the fully cooked burgers but i just picked that up from that brand don lee farms i think they may have just changed the packaging i think it used to be in a box now it's in this like plastic ziploc bag so we'll see how those taste Getting ready to come up on holiday weekend. All right, let me show y'all what else I picked up. Okay, I just put away all of my stuff that, you know, might start melting. So I will recycle all of these. Okay, the recycle needs to be taken out. But anyway, I'm going to put this by the door. Y'all come over here because I don't feel like bringing in these into the kitchen because I'm tired. I picked up some Snapple. The Juice Drinks 24 variety, y'all know we always get these. Snapple, apple, mango, and kiwi. I also picked up some Arizona iced teas. And I picked up two of our waters, Poland Springs. Okay. And as we come in here to finish up Sam's Club, I picked up some of our Thomas bagels. I just showed y'all these. This is going out in the freezer. I picked up some croissants like we always do. Uh, some Baby Bell little cheeses, some provolone cheese. Look at these little star cut out cookies. I hope they last until Memorial Day weekend. That looks so good, y'all. Those were $10.98. Oh, that looks good. Okay. Uh, I also picked up some pineapples. This Chuck Roast, $25.43. The original price on that was $33.91. That was a good deal. So I picked that up. I told y'all that I'm trying to clear my freezers out of meats. But when I see stuff like this, y'all, I have to get it. You know, that's a really good deal on two beautiful pieces of uh, Angus beef. So I picked that up to put in the freezer. Oh, I'm out of breath. I also picked up a rotisserie chicken. My swaggerty sausages. Y'all know I usually pick these up two at a time. I think these have gone back down in price also. Yes, they have. Okay, let's stay with Sam's Club. Oh, the mashed potatoes, Yukon Gold, love those. I also picked up some honey ham, my Clorox cleanup wipes, and my Bounty paper towels. Yep, that is it from Sam's Club, I think. Now, moving on to Walmart. Y'all know we always have these. They're just good to have in the pantry. I've never tried this type before. It sounds good, yeah. Sometimes you just want a cup of noodles, yeah. Let me know if you had these before, the creamy chicken flavor. Uh, we've always, you know, just had a little cup of noodles. I picked up some Utz original potato chips. And it was time for me to replenish all of my body ecology. This time I picked up the Pete Sunrise for those. My first time seeing the blue denim. It smells like blueberries. Let's see what the notes are in this. Okay, can I read blue denim? Oh, velvety. Hold on a minute. Y'all can't see. There we go. Velvety magnolia petals, mm, sunshine bright with light tropical fruits and sweet vanilla. Oh, I thought it smelled like blueberries. Okay, so it's got a little magnolia um, fragrance to it. I wonder why they don't have a magnolia on the um, 
bottle. Oh, well, I'm sure I like it. I love all of the body collagen. And y'all know I've had the Peach Sunrise before. Uh, delightfully fresh, juicy peach fragrance. Highlighted with notes of clementine, berry, and jasmine. So I'm set for soaps for probably the rest of the summer. I also picked up my pecan pies. They have gone back to 50 cents a pop, y'all. Yes, they have. And of course, y'all know I love my washcloths. These are $6.48. I always purchase these. Y'all see me always putting them down here. I have a little stash and they go right there. Those are my cup towels. Okay, love those. And I think that is it, guys. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Everything has been put in the freezer that needs to be put in the freezer, right? I'm going to put my cold items up and get finished with my day. Oh, these have to go outside in the big freezer. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching. Bye. Jess Hands.